hello everyone and welcome back to another Captain Abbey tutorial video. Today we are again in our uh, MSFS 2020. I'm going to be going through the uh, setup of the simulator. If you suit your maybe your PC uh, specs and yeah, basically well, whatever, whatever, however you set it up. So, firstly, we are currently on the home screen. Some beautiful photos appearing in front of us. I've got my profile set up in here. Okay, Captain Abbey. She's going to think of the Xbox, Xbox Live. Firstly, we'll go through a tour of the home, of the um, page here. You have your profile. So your profile, your hours, and your logbook. The marketplace is where you can buy products um, for the simulator. Regularly focus on today on the options page. So basically how to set it up. So firstly, let's go to our general page. Firstly, the graphics. So I have mine set to high end, and you want to get your monitor uh, resolution in here. Mine's uh, 60 by uh, 1440. Okay. And I want mine uh, full screen. It's a uh, default window, but I want mine full screen. And I set my settings to high end. I have a 2070 Ti and a Ryzen 9, um, so I should be able to, to cope with it well. I've got a high-end setting, so basically everything here I haven't touched has been on high-end. So high-end is trees, high-end everything. As well as maybe you can fly, but you can play around with, you can, maybe you say there's too many trees. All you have to do is find trees, put it low. Like that. It's moving on to our camera page. So basically here is when you can do your uh, quick view functions. Basically, um, do it when you test the simulator out, because it has to suit your needs. I haven't personally, I haven't changed it at all. My camera, I need, I, I don't be playing for a bit though, so I've never like experience with it. But um, I've set things up. So got the camera in here. So my views are weird how I set it up. But when I was sitting my views up, um, I didn't touch anything here. So it's all the same. You can find it. It has to be touched. But it's like your default view. If you want to make it go higher, zoom it in more, turn the zoom speed, you can edit it all here. So you can make say, oh my default co cockpit view. I want to zoom in more. It's too far back. So you get this lighter, drag it up to your liking. But for now, I'll leave it for default 50. Perfect. Scrolling down, you have your instrument page and trace. Oh, that's all the same. I don't think there's a need to change that, but you can um, you hit up display, you turn it on. I've off of test camera mode. Next page is the sound page. So here I have done some things. The music is off right now, so it's on zero for the video purposes. You can change your music to Legacy Color 1 or Color 2, like that. Of on Legacy. You can get your um, texted speed settings here. You can mute the audio in the background, so when the simulator isn't on your screen or like uh, running, you can turn it off. So you can mute. I'll probably uh, keep it off for now. When I'm saying, I'll turn this off. I don't want to hear like master cautions when I'm outside. I'm not realistic. Volume settings, I haven't changed one bit apart from the music. But if you notice that, oh, my engines are way too loud, easily just get this lighter and put your engine sounds down. You can do it for your uh, cockpit as well. It's really simple to do. Next is traffic. So, I have uh, all to real time online. You can do uh, AI off or AI offline. Real time online is fine for me. Off online, it's fine for me. I've changed my uh, traffic here for the land and sea. Airport Life is your um, ground services, your marshallers, your um, ground aircraft. I left them the default. Now, it's more realistic to have many aircraft at the airport, but um, I'm assuming yeah, your, your friends will get a heavy toll on that. So, your ferries are increased up to 60. I'm um, give it back to 50. Default. I'll put the frames in short. Perfect. To our data page. For the same too, I want my Bing imagery on, especially the whole purpose of the simulator. Our photogram is fine. I've got the on and my display is on, so I can fly with everyone. <laughs> it's your die, your bandwidth limit, unlimited for me, it's all, all fine over there. I'm all happy with that. Yeah, okay, perfect. Now we can go to our flight model. Modern, I don't know anything about that. This one is probably so. I don't change this at all, don't think you have to change it a lot. If you want to change your language, you can do, uh, change it over there. I'm going to for now. Accessibility page. 
here you can change your, your text size maybe you want it a bit bigger it's perfectly fine I'll leave it as the default for now you scale your color you can change the different colors I'll leave it for default for now as well the vibration um, I don't have any controllers that have the vibration feature in, implemented so I'll leave it for under for now and last page here is developers page then uh, I'm, I'm not a developer <laughs> Once you're happy, you played around with your settings in general, you want to press apply and save. Also in English, okay. So that's all good now. Now we can go to options. We can go, I'll go through the more assistance. I have, I've had a very bit of um, experience with Flight Simulator on Xbox 11, so I'll let them on hard. Not really sure what they really do, but um, I'll ask what they do so the auto robbers are on okay. Yeah, I'm them off. All good. I mean, my user experience is easy. You know, I'm gonna turn my agency voices off. Don't even want want that. Then we're done on my checklist. Custom, wonderful. Wonderful failing damage. I think in fact yeah, that uh, I think in fact that I've heard a lot about a lot of icing. Once you're done, apply and save again. Wonderful, all done. Now, controls page. So I have a uh, joystick, the line tick joystick and rudder pedal, so I have configured them. And what does it change my, my custom views like x I, I can show you. So my, my views now. My custom views are like x so I use the numpad. So you, if you want to copy that as well, they are here, set custom camera. Control plus the letter on the numpad and low press the numpad. A lot easier, I think, in my opinion, to uh, never get around the aircraft in the views. Here's my mouse, didn't adjust it at all, it's fine. Didn't need to adjust my mouse really. But you can toggle your view focuses and um, the access to scroll around the cockpit. Now, the important part of my joystick, so I program my, um, my flaps are on this button here. Send flaps and you can also see the flaps going, uh, being retracted. My, uh, uh, depends on your joystick though, but I have a play around with it. Um, maybe if, if you have flew a simulator previously, you can implement the same buttons. So you're used to it. Um, I have buttons for my pitch trim, my brakes, my uh, reverse thrust, blah, blah, like all that stuff over there. And my rudder pedals are here, my Flydeck Pro rudder pedals. I have my, um, Access on here, which should be turning, and you have the uh, toe brakes. So once you're done with that, I didn't change anything in this video, so I'll go back. That is how you basically set up your controls. I suggest that you um, get a feel for what you like, especially if you are new into the um, simulation hobby. So get a feel about um, how you're going to fly. Also, um, you can uh, launch your fly, change your camera settings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop in a fly. I'm going to show you how you can change your camera settings during the flight and the sound. So, see you in a bit. Right, everyone, welcome back. We are now spawning on the runway at Sydney Airport in the simulator. I'm going to go through the uh, settings. So, you can go press escape and you can go general. So, let's say that I want a zoomed in camera. So, we'll go default. You can see it zooming in right now. So, then you simply save that and, and there you go zoom in, in view now I'm mind the uh, default view I'm gonna go back to general and change that back now it zooms out and sounds here that's why I want to make it lower so put the master down see it's softer now it's not as loud so there you go, very easy to uh, adjust your settings. I'll put my mask sound back to 100. So, I just that you play around with, with the sounds and your, uh, you can set your views up. I'll show you, I've already set what my view. So, I press Control 8. Now, if I press 8 on my numpad, I got my overhead view. So, I can easily um, look, put lights on. I'm gonna run around, so yeah, and you can um, do all that up there. And back to our copy view. Excellent. So, from that was the uh, tutorial for the setup of the simulator. 
is more to come, including, um, what, uh, depending what, yeah, you want help on, if you want help on deliveries or, uh, no fly, you can comment your status in them below, and I'll, um, comment below, and I'll get to them. But as for now, thanks for watching.